Good morning. How are you? So it's a today is Friday, Friday, and just got my makeup on, getting ready to go do some laundry. I got my grandkids home today, so I would like to go over and see them in a little bit. I think my little one is missing me. I picked him up yesterday from tumbling, and he let me know he loved me all the way up to the door from the car, and yeah, I don't think he wanted to go, but. Anyway, so I'm going to go over and see him. Uh, I was going to talk about a certain stuff today, but I opted not to because something else is on my mind. So, are you ready? Okay, here we go. This is my Bible. I read it relig religiously every night. It is... It does not lie. It does not beat around the bush. It is full of love, hope, faith. Um, my eyes water and I just got my makeup on. Uh, you know, I don't know how to really get this started, but when I talk here on YouTube about things that are, I mean, I'm not a preacher, and I'm not a teacher, just, you know, and I just started reading, actually reading, reading the Bible, and I'm in Deuteronomy now, getting ready to go into the next book after, but I started in the New Testament in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and I read all the way through the New Testament, and then started from the beginning, and now I'm in Deuteronomy, getting ready to go into the next one. Uh, I couldn't even tell you what the biblical names are, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, in order, because I just could never, I just for some reason could never learn them. Probably because I never really paid too much attention growing up. I don't know. My point is, when I talk on YouTube, I am basically telling you things that I've learned from what I've read in the Bible. You know, how your behavior should be, you know, and how this and how that. And, uh, you know, one day we are all going to stand before God. And we're going to have to give an account for everything we've done and every idle word we've said. And we've all said idle words. That's why it's very important to ask for forgiveness on those. Ask for forgiveness for anything. And so when I get on here and I'm trying to educate people just a little bit, only a little bit on what I know, uh, I get called out by YouTube for something that I, I don't take back what I said in that video. I watched it. I don't take back what I said. I stand firmly on what I said. It is the truth. And I'm not going to apologize for it. When I do something wrong, and I know I do something wrong, and you can ask any member of my family, any of my friends, anybody who knows me well, I will apologize, and I'll take ownership for that. But... I'm not going to apologize for this because I didn't say anything that wasn't true. And you can kick me off Facebook if you want, but that's just one place where people talk. There is a plethora of other places to go. And if you can't get on those, you know, if, if, if get out, if you can't talk on social media, your mouth and your feet will take you anywhere you want to go. So, you know, my feet can take me to a store and my mouth can go just as much in the store as it does online. So, to try to stop me from spreading the word and telling people what I know, it's not going to work. It's just not going to work. It's not going to work for me. It's not going to work for anybody else. You know, any other Christian, any other God lover, any other God fearing person, is going to find a way to get out there and get the word out. And you're not going to stop them. So, you know, um, you can take me off YouTube if you want. I really don't care. And, I mean, there's other places I can go. But, you know, I read that Bible every night. That is out of, 
And I got a lot of books. And they're all faith-based. They're not just any old book from the store. Because I am a person that I really never like to read anyway because it always hurt my eyes. Uh, but I have like Kenny Copeland and, you know, Gloria Copeland. And I have things like that. I have faith-filled books from preachers and stuff that I listen to, that I like. But out of those books, the Bible is the one book that I make sure I get in my head every single night. And now that I'm learning a little bit more, I want to share a little bit more. You know, I want my grandkids to understand, you know, that there's a God and that he's there for them and, you know, the things that he can do. And, you know, I don't know. I'm just tired of sitting neutral and not saying anything. My husband motto is if you don't know it you can't get in trouble for it and he's not talking about things from the Bible he's talking about when people battle back and forth and they try to get you in the middle of it if you don't know what's going on you can't take sides and my thing is stay neutral stay out of trouble that's my motto Meaning, you know, same thing. You got two people battling and they're trying to pull you in the middle. Stay neutral, stay out of trouble. But I'm not staying neutral on this anymore. I'm done. I'm not going to keep my mouth shut to make other people happy. I'm not going to do it. I mean, I have, I have went as far as uh, my parents telling me, you better watch what you say. Well, I'm not going to watch what I say. I watch everything I say every time I say it. And everything that I'm saying isn't any different than anything anybody else is saying is getting kicked off of social media. And I'm proud to be able to spread what I know to other people so that they can understand the love that God has for them. And I'm not going to stop that, no matter who says what. And then my husband just says, well, don't cost me money. Well, if I go to jail, don't bail me out. Simple as that. You don't want to bail me out? Don't bail me out. I'm standing for what I believe in. You know, and I believe in God. And I'm going to stand up for it. I'm going to stand up for everything that I believe in. I'm tired of being quiet to make everybody else happy. I have done that my whole life. Just kept my mouth shut. Stayed neutral. Stayed out of trouble. But... You know, I'm done now. I think I forgot to put some of this on this morning. Huh. Well, that's okay. I'm not going anywhere. So if it all falls off, I don't care. But anyway, I don't want to stay on here for very long. Uh, I have laundry to do, house to clean. I want to see my grandkids today. But I just wanted to get on here and let you know, you know, <clears throat> Maybe YouTube needs to go invest in one of these because they seem to have an issue with the truth. And maybe every news media needs to go, you know, every politician needs to go get a book, get a Bible, get the right Bible and read it and learn something. And stop being prejudiced against the Christians who are trying to spread the good word to everybody else. To keep them from going to hell. You see what I'm saying? So, I'm going to get off of here. And uh, hopefully I didn't scare any of my grandkids because this really wasn't directed towards them. Uh, I don't you know. I've got a few grandkids that can get scared real easy. But they have some issues that can cause that. So, um, but... To my grandbabies, you're going to be okay. I'm not. I'm not saying you're going to go to hell. I'm just, you're going to be okay. Because all my grandbabies are saved. So, anyway. That's just something that I felt like I wanted to just throw out there. It was something that was in my heart. I've been gonna, they're really playing rough, so I gotta watch them. Uh, no. I have been, this has been on my mind since, well, pretty much since I got up this morning. Uh, I don't know if it was this morning or if it started last night, but I think things for me are changing. I do. I can feel changing. I can feel more of a push. 
and a desire to try to please. My God, not people, not worldly people. So anyway, I'm going to get off of here and <clears throat> that's pretty much all I wanted. I have to go get my day started. I got up late because yesterday and the night before last night, I didn't sleep at all. I didn't go to sleep till four o'clock in the morning and then I was up off and on and off and on and off and on. And my allergies were bothering me. So between taking a Zyrtec and being tired, I slept in late. So that's okay. It's only a half an hour difference. <laughs> my dog ain't gonna let me sleep any longer than that. So, but until I see you again, read your Bible, pray to God, and I'll see you and stay safe. And I'll see you later.